Welcome to our React Troubleshooting Guide. Today, we're addressing a frustrating error that many new developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an issue with their app, specifically the error message, attempted to update component that has already been unmounted or failed to mount. Let's dive into their question and see how we can help them resolve this. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. The error you're encountering indicates that you're trying to update the state of a component that has already been unmounted. This often happens when asynchronous operations, like fetching data, complete after the component has been removed from the DOM. To fix this issue, you can use a flag to track whether the component is still mounted. Set this flag to true in component did mount and to false in component will unmount. Next, modify your fetch call to check if the component is still mounted before calling set state. This prevents state updates on unmounted components. Finally, ensure that your render method handles the loading state properly. You can display a loading indicator while the data is being fetched. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This error can occur when props are misunderstood. Instead of treating props as individual arguments, remember that props is a single object. When using props, destructuring is the right approach. This allows you to access the properties directly. Make sure to map over the posts correctly to render them. This ensures your component works as intended. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. the user encountered an error about updating a component that has already unmounted. They realized they forgot to import React in their JSX file, thinking it wasn't necessary for functional components. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user encountered an error due to a typo in their code. Instead of writing slash locations, they mistakenly wrote slash locayan. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.